fiesta is over and you're probably still cleaning out cascaroni confetti from, well, everywhere, right? Because you're still finding it places. I know you are. So Elsa Fernandez from Eye Candy Boutique is here to show you how to organize your closet, right? Yes, with all that extra time now that fiesta's <laughs> over, these are little tips and tricks that you can do to get your closets and your drawers back to fighting form. First off, is the noodle. They're not just for pools anymore, especially when we're trying to tidy everything up like Marie Kondo. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is take inventory of the different kind of boots that you have in your closet, oh. cut them to size with a knife very carefully, and these floppy boots that you have that are looking straight a hot mess in your closet, there you go, stand up on their own. Oh my gosh, uh -huh. that looks so neat. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh my goodness. So disarray no more when it comes to your boots. And it'll help with little booties too and you can cut them down to size just depending right. on when you um, take a look at what you have. Right, so you can cut them to kind of be hidden a little bit that yes. way. Yes. Next up, you're gonna wanna take any kind of utensil holder that you have, especially from the Dollar Tree or something uh, really easy, and you can use it in your bathroom drawers to organize different beauty uh, products that you have, whether it be curlers, eye, um, eyeshadow palettes, nail polish, uh, your brushes, and then of course like Q-tips and cotton Q -tips, balls. Q-tips, cotton every balls. Every day necessities can all be organized with one of those. I don't know about you, but I always have a problem of keeping my earrings organized. Yeah. So what we did was we got a couple of the ice cube trays and used them to put our different hair supplies, our different earrings, whether they be dangles or um, posts. If they, if you find one that has a cover like this one, you can actually stack them on top of each other, and make your life that much easier. If you have those linen closets that are just giving you a headache looking at them, what you can do is keep your sheets and pillowcases organized by folding the sheets and the pillowcases and putting them inside the matching pillowcase and stack them on top of each other. So moving on to our closet tips, uh, any shower curtain holders that you have, you can use to hold your shorts or your jeans. Either way, it's just gonna make them easily accessible and easily movable. Next on the list is going to be your scarves. If you don't wanna take room in, uh, in a drawer folding them, hang them all. You can do it by color, by style, um, by season preference. You can hang them and loop them on a hanger and have them all together. If you're trying to make extra room in your closet, you can kind of make pre-outfits for you and put little layering pieces. So you have your top and then you can have your kimono or you can do um, a top on the top hanger and uh, pants on the bottom hanger. You connect them with a soda can tab. All right, for more information on Elsa Fernandez at Eye Candy Boutique, you know what to do. Head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. But tell folks how to find you. You can find us on the corner of Houston and Navarro. You can find us online at heyeyecandy.com or on Facebook and Instagram at heyeyecandy.